Well, good morning, Miss Kelly. You got a little more pep in your step today, yeah? You had breakfast? Yeah, she's a good girl. Follows me everywhere I go. Uh, wormed her yesterday. Don't see any ticks on her. Still can't, I mean, I'm getting closer to her. She's come around a whole lot from when she was first came here. You come on with me, come on. Let's go do some lumber. Just got back with my load of lumber. She didn't try to follow me. She just stayed right here. All right. You coming? Yeah, she's running around, wagging her tail now. She wasn't doing that. I knew she'd come around in a couple days. All right. Welcome to Dogman Homestead. I believe this is about episode 15 of this build. I just picked up another load of lumber. I hurt my wallet. And uh, we're going to try to finish this framing today and get everything ready for the roof. I ain't going to promise nothing. We'll see how the video ends, but we'll see how far I get. All right. Let's get busy. All right, guys. I'm going to put together this uh, short wall that goes up top here. Now let me get the nail gun ready. I screwed a board, the end board to the 2x4 so I don't have to fight that thing while I'm putting this one on. <laughs> and I have been doing nothing but fighting it. It's like the sixth take of this clip. Hopefully this will be the last one. Alright. Getting this up there. And for this one, I'm going uh, 24 on center. You, you're going to see this. This lovely foundation. I do mute that a little bit when the air compressor kicks on, if y'all haven't noticed, because I sure don't like to hear it in a video. I was born at night, but not last night. Big high spot right in this foundation. You know, I'm on there. Well, I need you. Thank you. 
I put about six drops of cooling oil in there. I try to do that every, every time I use one, but I might have forgot yesterday. Problem with that ain't anything new that's sticking. I ain't buying a new one. Alright, let me uh, flip this dude over and I'll come back. Alright guys, now I'm going to go up there. Here's the wall that's going up there. I just got to get it up there to get it in place. Oh, and then I can use a ladder to tack it down. Get my big butt through here. I'm going to have to take a break and just clear some stuff out of the way. It's getting ridiculous. Alright, see you in a minute. Of you who have not seen the previous videos there is no floor up here this is just deck joists i don't have the decking on yet so i've got a piece of plywood spread across stand on get this over all the way bend over and pick that but let me just get it up here let me get on my knees I'm liking it Recording this, I knew it'd be a comedy show. Alright, I gotta get right up here. So I'm gonna move this board so I can stand at the edge. Super heavy, it's just awkward. Not bad at all. <laughs> Get it up here. Now the plywood's screwing me. Alright, balance. Whoa, miss it. A lot of road noise today that festival starts in a couple days so they're all piling in here so far no internet trouble would have been easier to put the deck on first didn't happen all right now I gotta get over here, stand it up, and start moving it over. Let's 
see how accurate my measurements are. You're going. I ain't taking you back down. stand up. Alright, I gotta get down here. Oh, I see the problem. <laughs> it's not all the way over. It's stuck on one of the on the piece of the flashing that's bowed up. There we went. Oh you wasps. Don't be coming out of there. Boy, it's just... <clears throat> Don't rot it. Alright, over here we're good. And if I fall through here, that tin is not going to stop me. Guarantee you. This is where you need two people. You need somebody on the ladder pushing this in. Alright. It's it's gonna fit. I wanted it to be tight. So we can just continue that rope. This stuff's so swollen out, I can pull it off and it'll go right where it needs to be. I need to get a hammer. Can you guys hand me that hammer? It's right down there by you. Alright guys, got it up there. I just had to pull that piece of trim that was on that fascia board off and it slid right in. And this way, the metal ropes will look like one. So, it's kind of curled under there, but it'll be fine. I'm going to run a 2x6 across there and then run my uh, roof joist through there. And uh, what else was I going to say? I'll fill this end in with something too. That's going to have on the other side, that's going to have T111 on it, or if, at least that's what I'm thinking right now. The nice thing about this design, okay, it's going to be an air conditioned room, yes. But if you'll notice in old, old homes, they all have high, high ceilings. And the reason for that is the heat would all, the heat rises. So all the heat's going to rise up here and it's going to stay nice and cool down here plus it's going to give me a lot of room like a little mini loft up there to put things in so going that extra height uh just adds a lot of space so all right i'm gonna start running joist get that i'm gonna get this uh leveled out and, and uh fastened down and then i'm gonna get going on the floor or the uh, roof joist all right guys whoo did that did that up there kick my butt I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I got it up there once and I realized it was too high. I had to bring it down. Now it is perfectly level. It is where I need to be after I add. I'm gonna put OSB over these trusses. So to bring that up to the same height as that, that's what I had to do. You go knock it back down, put it back up. So now you get an idea of what's gonna happen. Joyce is coming from there to there. It's gonna be even with that. And, uh, that ought to look pretty good. All right. I was hoping to get this whole thing framed today, but it ain't looking like it's going to happen in one day. But we never know. I'm going to go eat lunch, come back, maybe knock out another four or five hours. All right. I'm going to hide that under the picnic table because it's cool. Yeah. Well, i got some mistake 2x12s that's going to make some new seats for that, Tilly. 
You didn't eat your country stew, but you ate your bacon treats out of there. Yeah. Okay, well, just get Rooster to quit barking at you. Now she's gonna eat her country stew. That's what's got the wormer in it. I use uh, Safeguard Goat Wormer on my dogs. That's uh, commonly used in a lot of shelters. Works good. All right. I came in and took a nap, man. Didn't get a lot done today, but you guys know. Hang on, I got a radio playing. Let me get up here, they're not playing a song. So we're good. Let's turn the volume down. All right. Here's what happened. Went up to put up the first joist. See, I got it clamped up there, ready to ready to go up. Well, <laughs> I got some wasps up in there. Boy, I stuck my hand up there and they came out and they weren't bothering me before. So I gotta get some wasp spray or what I'll probably do is come out here early in the morning and get those going. As long as I don't go towards that one, they don't bother me. I did get this wall, uh, Tyvek. Got the house wrap on it. First time I ever put that stuff on. It ain't too hard, but it's a little wrinkly. It'll work. So hopefully I've got I've got to get this roof on in the next two days. We got more rain coming, so I want to you know I gotta put another piece there yet. So and up there I have to uh, run another piece of header. Or ledger or whatever you want to call it to put the uh, it's gonna have a little overhang on this wall on that side but that is gonna match up right with that so it's gonna look like one long continuous uh, room and this is gonna be lower here like I said and uh, probably about six foot high but it's gonna be for the dogs and as long as I can get in there you know that's cool all right guys you know i do these every day so some days it's not a lot gets done but i'm gonna go ahead and put out a video uh man this yard is getting way out of my control so i'm gonna have to take a day off the bill and do a lot of weed eating because i can't keep up with everything and this time of year it's and i got the garden you know we i hadn't watered in two days we had a really good rain I stuck my finger in the soil. It's still moist, but I'm going to go ahead and water them tonight. It's looking real good out there. And everybody seems to be getting along with the new dog. I'm, I'm not going to be order her up. or she, she don't leave the property I left today. She stays and she's coming around. So it's kind of good to have a dog. You know, she, she's afraid of the road, so I don't think she'll go down there. Will you tell you? You got your water right there, fresh water right there in the shade. But I will set her up with a nice uh, shade shelter and dog house. Yeah, she's a good girl, ain't she? You gonna be on? You gonna be on the camera a lot, so you better get used to it. Yeah. Listen, you little pecker head. You quit barking at her. She wants to go see her. In a couple days, I'll let her let her go see her meet. Rooster's the one you gotta be weary of. Yeah, you you want to go meet Tilly, don't you? Yeah, she wants to go meet Tilly. Tell her all the stories you tell. They're pretty bad stories. All right, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Give me a like. Give me an unlike. Hopefully get a better video up tomorrow. Happy trails.